This next section, what I want to do is actually show you a few tricks before I give you an assignment. Uh, one being the unanswered question about maybe bump maps. Okay, so what what I did is I had a scene. I had that one B. Remember, I said you should save one B out because one B is pretty important later on. Okay. And what I can do with 1B is generate different kinds of maps. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to save as and save as like maybe 1D, which is something I haven't used yet, but I just want to show you that. Now, for this, a uh, few things need to change. One, I have to eliminate all lights within the scene. All lights. Okay, so that means this one. I'm just holding command here and delete all those out. Edit delete by tape history. Also what I want to do is use default lighting and go back to default quality. Okay, so this is what essentially I want right here. Next, I also want to take it and go into my window hypershade and I have all these materials okay now this is the pain in the butt part about this but uh, bear with me so for each one of these what I want to do is go into them and eliminate the bump map okay and the spectral I can just eliminate the bump map actually and I'll show you how to eliminate the spectral here easy enough. Okay, here, bump map gone. Bump map gone. Good. So now for each item, I want a Lambert. Lambert. Lambert, Lambert. Okay, so make sure all these are Lamberts. Okay, Lambert, 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 Lambert. Okay, good. And notice what happened is it took and disconnected the spectral channel. Okay, because Lamberts do not support spectral highlighting which is good. Okay, so what am I trying to get? Well, I'm trying to get a very, very flat texture going on. So you can see no shadings occurring, no bumps occurring, nothing's occurring. That's good. Okay, and then I can save this out. And what happens when I render this? Well, I should get nothing. And if I do start to get some sha shadows going, I have to also go into here and turn off shadows. Okay, no shadows occurring. The best way to do this is go to production quality and then turn off shadows. Also under ray tracing, I want to turn my shadows down to zero, just in case it gets any funny ideas about shadows. Okay. All right. Now shadows aren't permitted, but that doesn't mean that this the scene is very well lit. So another thing I like to do, because of the default lighting occurs, is take this and duplicate it. This is a directional light. I'm duplicating and rotating it around all axes. So now, just in case it gets any funny ideas about shadows, trust me, Maya is notorious for being funny about shadows.
There we go. Super lit area, no shadows. Good to go. All right, and they're all Lamberts. Okay, now, uh, what else is needs to occur is under my lighting and shading batch bake. I need the following, no shadows, texture, light and color. I'm gonna put baked three out here just because I got a two already. I wanna still bake it to one map. This will, and I do not have to move any UVs. I'm just baking a new map and I want a flat map that has no shadows. All right, make sure you save the scene before you do this and convert and close. Oops. Highlight it. Make sure all this is okay. And then convert and close. Okay, so that should take a minute and I'll meet you back in the next video.